Well, 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 we, I'm back again this Sunday weekend. How did y'all enjoy this football weekend? Listen, let me tell you something. We had a game last night. I think it was Sean Watson. Don't look the same. Just doesn't look the same. Anyway, stiff on my niggas twice and shit, like getting flags, face masking them. Stiff on was great, but you can't grab the face mask, bro. Come on. Not even the offense player can do that. Anyway, Patrick Mahomes just got pizzed. Joe Burrow down 0 2, just got the biggest contract. I think they said Joe Burrow's 0 2. Let me. Since we leaning so much and heavily on Patrick Mahomes, we got to pay him. We got to make him the highest paid quarterback because we don't have no Tyreek here no more. We only got Travis Kelsey. We don't have enough weapons around him. So let's pay him the most money ever. 210 points. He worth every penny of it. Yes, he is. But is it going to be enough to, uh, of acquisitions around him to get that Super Bowl? Because he's been there for Super Bowls, right? Two-time Super Bowl champion in five years. That's impressive. Two-time league MVP in five years. That's impressive. Right? Can he be... Do we got enough weapons to make him the MVP? No. In my opinion. You got enough help to make him win the Super Bowl on the offensive side of the ball? My question is no. But that, that defense is balling. The reason why they can't pay Chris Jones because they can pay the money to Patrick Mahomes. Give him one year deal. It doesn't really make sense to pay him all that money. But is it is his time they restructure. They already gave him a, a half a billion for 10 years, but they restructure it because he didn't have enough guarantee. Now he got all the guarantee money. Patrick Mahomes worth every dollar and more that they paid him. When I say Patrick Mahomes is overrated, I mean he's overrated to the tune of he's the GOAT, he's the best we ever seen, he's the best. No, he is not. No, he is not even close. Tom Brady came in the league throwing the ball to Deion Branch, David Gibbons, Christian Ferrier, Troy Brown. None of them guys are going to sniff a Hall of Fame ballot. Travis Kelsey, Tyreek Hill are going to be first ballot Hall of Famers. In the discussion, in the, you can make a case right now. They're the two best at their position. You can make a case Travis Kelsey is the best at his position right now. Facts. You can make a case Travis, uh, Tyreek Hill, what he's doing is the best receiver in the league. Facts. He came into that. So when I say that, and then he's one of the best offensive minds in history. He came, walked into that. Not knowing, and he didn't even started his first year. So he got a chance to sit back. His team was a playoff team. And he took it to higher levels. True, two things can be true at one time. I don't understand why people, like my boy Zeddy, my boy Zeddy, he's he just a hater, bro. No, I'm telling you the truth, bro. I've seen it moving forward. I'm old enough to remember Peyton Manning, who had a Hall of Fame running back in Andrew James and had two number ones on the outside, two number one wide receivers. A number one wide receiver is your best receiver. He had two number ones. He had Marvin Harrison on the inside, Reggie Wayne, and he had a Pro Bowl tight end in Dallas Clark. And he had a Hall of Fame in the back. That's similar to what Patrick Mahomes in inherited. Sammy Watkins, a top four draft pick. Tyreek Hill was already a pro bowler. And, uh, and, and Travis Kelly was already all pro. And then you had Kareem Hunt in the backfield. Unfortunately, Kareem Hunt got kicked out in the NFL for kicking a white lady in the face. He missed some time. He's not a starter no more. And running backs ain't how they used to be. But it's a similar situation. I'm I'm not and Tom Brady was throwing to Troy Brown and Deion Branch. Let that sink in. Tom Brady won three Super Bowls with Deion Branch as his Troy Brown as his pass catchers. Let that sink in. And people talking about the defense. The defense was phenomenal the first year. The second Super Bowl, Tom Brady carried that team. That was Tom Brady's team after that second Super Bowl. Jake DeLone threw for 300 yards and had 30 points. Gun from Nab had the Terry Owens had over 100 and a buck fifty receiving yards. And was on one bad one one bad leg. You talking about a defense. Y'all shut up. Tom Brady threw for 307 yards and three touchdowns in that Super Bowl against 32 to 29, a final score against Carolina Panthers. And he was, and then he had another great Dominic Super Bowl when they gave, like I said, against the Eagles when he won his third one. When T.O. had a buck fifty. So how good was defense? We don't know. And then the Randy Mouse era come in, had him for two seasons, four, two, four seasons, wins the lead MVP, break the record, right? Break the record. That's when he gets some. That's when he got some help. Like it took Tom Brady seven years starting to get some help. Like Patrick Mahomes and and, and, and pay back that. That's my that's my point when I said when I talk about him overrated. Aaron Rodgers came in and inherited Donald Driver, Greg Jennings, Jordy Nelson, Randall Cobb from Brett Favre, who was dominant in Green Bay. Tom Brady, the only quarterback that came in and had. Little to work with at the receiver situation and won three Super Bowls in four years. Right on top of that, when he became a household super uh, MVP, MVP, when he got the stats, he started getting MVPs. 
he was still winning Super Bowls. He got seven. He won three. Now he got four after that. He got seven, and he got three league MVPs with all statistics categories. Now you tell me, that's why I say he's overrated, bro. I do this. Y'all thought I was just basketball? I do this, bro. But the men deserve everything he got. He's phenomenal. Y'all like, subscribe. I'm out.